Hey, good morning everybody. It's Mr. Jewel and Mrs. Teagues here and we are going to teach you how to make a video on your Chromebook and upload it to Google Classroom. Hey, wait, hold on Mrs. Teagues. Uh, we are, we have been advised that oh, we should right. do social distancing measures and this is, this is not six feet away. And but this is no laughing matter, Mr. Jewel. That's true. And um, you'll be happy to know, I went to the music store and they, they're selling these neat uh, social distancing tools. Huh. Yeah, I picked one because only a couple hundred dollars. <laughs> We're back. We're good. We're good. Right now, on my Chromebook, I have pulled up my Google Classroom. And Mr. Jewel so kindly added me as a fifth grade band student, you can see here. So I'm clicking on my class and as you can see he posted a new assignment upload a video please mrs teagues so before we can get to that assignment we should make a video first if i go down in my corner to my launcher and search my camera you can either type it in or i've just recently used it so i'm going to type on camera it should pop up Hey, so it's a video and a video. Oh, the Schmeichel, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, Hi, so guys. we're making a video of a video. Um, click on video right now. You can see it's on photo. And I can click and start recording instantly. So I'm saying, hey, I'm doing my homework. Hey, Mr. Jewel. Okay, bye. Okay, so I'm done. My video has been made. I can exit out of my camera. It is automatically saved. Now, when I go to my classwork, says upload a video so I'm gonna click on that and now I need to view my assignment and I'm going to add or create files for my classwork this is my homework so I'm gonna add or create and from here I'm going to choose file now this is on my Chromebook it should be pretty much the same for your desktop as well or your laptop if you're not using a Chromebook I'm clicking on file and it says, select files from your device. Over here are all of the different files that I have. I have my downloads, my play files, my Google Drive. For you, you will choose your videos if you, it didn't pop up already. And the thing that gets kind of wonky, as you can see here, is the videos don't have a name. So what you need to do as students is look at the date that it's modified. And if you took multiple videos, practicing the same skill, but you didn't like, you had an oops in the first three, chances are it's gonna be the last one that you uploaded, okay? So click on that, select open, and then upload. Takes just a little bit. And as you can see, still uploading here. And now I can turn it in, boom. Turn in, and Mr. Jewel will see my awesome video of taking a video. Yay! Now, there is also a really easy way to do this on your phone. So, here's my phone. I like iPhones, but the cool thing is Google Classroom is a free app that you can put on either Android or your iPhone. So, if I find my Google Classroom, same thing as before, I'm pulling up my assignment, now the tricky thing is, I'm not sure if it's gonna let me upload a video again, we'll find out. Clicking on my assignment. Okay, it says it turned in. Oops, I just realized I forgot something in my video. I wanna fix it. I'm gonna click on unsubmit. So I can unsubmit my work and resubmit it if I need to fix it. Hopefully it's gonna let me do that, cool. So for here, I'm gonna now delete my video that I just made. So you can see on my phone how this works. Click add attachment. Just like before, you have all these different options here. It says use camera. So you could literally on your phone, take up a, a video live and upload that. You can choose from your drive on your phone. You can choose a link or a file or a pick a photo. That's the basics of uploading a video onto Google Classroom using either your Chromebook or your phone. Follow those steps, it's pretty easy. We miss you, love you. Bye guys.